Join us at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino with the number one gaming experience and entertainment. The Prompt Nugget has the number one dining experience at Stockman Steakhouse, Golden Harvest Cafe, and the Gold Miners Buffet. Come get your game on at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino. Today's news is brought to you in part by Dr. George Leakes, Pahrump's optometrist since 1990, offering full-spectrum eye care for children and adults. Call today, 727-8300. Welcome back to News 46. An Act of Kindness Award was presented to Tom Saida and Don Trudeau this morning. Good morning, Trump. We're at Tom Saida, not Tom, but Santa Trudeau Auto Dealership. And there's many things that these uh, men do here for the community. The last one was just giving the car away for uh, getting back on your feet. That could be a life-changing experience for this lady. And it's, you know, it's just a, a big heart for Tom and Don to be able to do this, and I call Prump that little town with a big heart. Well, they're part of that big heart. And uh, I do have a list. Oh, and if I can read it, get my glasses on. I wasn't prepared for this, but anyway, let's just say they contribute to many, many organizations in this town. They help people out, and this is what this whole, whole town is about. Reach out to the community, help each other, Prump the town with a big heart. So at this time, I'd just like to uh, present the Act of Kindness Award to Seattle Trudeau and Tom. I got a lot of, I, I admire him because he said it wasn't his idea. The brainchild is done. done right here. So at this time, I'd just like to present the Act of Kindness Award to Don Trudeau and Tom. He's got the bigger hands. Tom's got the biggest mouth, but <laughs> let's, let's, get it, let's get it going. And uh, Don, would you mind reading it? Act of Kindness Award presented to Saida Trudeau. Your selfless in helping the citizens of Prump goes above and beyond. From the citizens of Prump, Nevada, no act of kindness is ever wasted. Well, thank you very much. Thank That's you very, very nice. Much. And and definitely coming from a guy who does a lot himself. Yeah. You know, this, this, this what, is the other guy, right? This is what this town is all about, to reach out to each other and just say, hey, you're my friend, you're my neighbor, we're a family. Well, it wasn't expected. That's what I can tell you about that. And that's not why we do what we do. Uh, we do what we do because we should, as everyone that is more fortunate than others should help those less fortunate people, and that's why we do it. Um, Butch had a list of things that you do in the community, and I know myself I can name a lot of them, and you stepping up to the plate, both of you, for different uh, kind of charities, uh, different kinds of fundraisers, and even organizations. Yeah, you know, we get involved in a lot, be, you know, we're able to. We'd get involved in more if we could. It's just, um, we do what we can, and it's our customers that make it possible, really. And that's, that's right. why one of the rules we have is any request for us to get involved in something has to come from one of our customers, because it's really them, not us, that makes it happen. In today's Angie's List report, Noah Began tells us more regarding health care options. Deciding which health care program to choose can be stressful and overwhelming. It is important to get all the information that you can to make the right choice for you and your family. In today's Angie's List report, why it pays to be proactive when choosing your health plan. Changes in health care have put us in the driver's seat. Now is the time to do your research, weigh all options, and pick a health plan that's right for you. Taking advantage of the open enrollment period is a time for you to evaluate what your insurance covers and make sure you assess what needs you're going to have over the next year. So if you need to make changes to your insurance, you can do it now before it's too late. When Charlie Klump turned 65, she learned her physician's practice didn't accept Medicare. After paying for a couple of office visits out of pocket, Klump decided to switch doctors. Now she always checks with doctors before scheduling an appointment. I called, talked to the business office and said, now, I am a Medicare patient, that's my primary, I have a secondary insurance, but will you file that for me? Do you have any concerns about taking on an additional Medicare patient? One thing many people overlook is whether their doctor is going to continue to accept their insurance. So while you're evaluating insurance, be sure you have a conversation with your doctor, especially if you're in the midst of a longer term treatment plan, to be sure that you're still going to be covered, because the last thing you want to have to do is change your doctor in the middle of treatment because of an insurance issue. If you don't understand what your plan does and does not cover, you could end up spending more money. Don't assume the plan and policy you had last year will still cover your needs this year. 
The biggest mistake people generally make when they're buying insurance is um, not knowing what they're looking for. Um, people know they need it, and now they have to get it per the, the new laws, um, but they don't have an idea of exactly what they're looking for. And often when they purchase it, they don't understand what they have. Take a look at what you spent last year in premiums and out-of-pocket expenses and compare that to what you expect to spend in 2014. If you don't understand your health care options, don't be afraid to ask questions. Sit down with your benefits person at work or talk with a financial planner or insurance broker. We can shop every single insurance company licensed to do business in your state. We can you know, recommend plans and give you pros and cons of each. Uh, and brokers are paid actually and compensated by the insurance companies themselves. So there's no fees or service charge to work with a broker. And um, we can just make the whole process a lot more uh, smoother, more efficient, um, and just you know, uh, make the whole process you know, a, lot, a lot easier on you. Angie's List says if you decide to work with an insurance broker who's an independent agent, you'll want to make sure he or she has the necessary credentials and is appropriately licensed. Requirements vary in each state, but generally insurance agents must pass an exam to become licensed and certified. I'm Noah Began for News 46. Noah, I just want to say we really love having you back. <laughs> yeah, it's been good. He, he had a nice holiday off, but we're glad you're back. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yes. Very good. And I'll tell you what, that weather back east <clears throat> is something else I can't even imagine. I've never even felt those kind of temperatures. I haven't either. The lowest I've ever felt, as far as I know, is 17 degrees. That was right here in Pahrump. I've yeah. never 17 been minus. plus 17, yes. not the minus. <laughs> no, no, no minus. No, and I can't even imagine what they're going through, mm -hmm. and God bless them all. So anyways, when we get back, we'll find out what we have in store for us with Noah himself. Thank you. News 46 weather is brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. Hello and welcome back to News 46. Today is Monday, January 6th. Today we had sunny skies with a high of 57 degrees. That's also your average temperature for around this time of year. Winds were coming from the east southeast at 3 miles per hour with gusts up to 8 miles per hour. The UV index today was 3, which is moderate. Humidity was at 14%. Sunrise was at 6.56 a.m. And the record high in 1962 was 74 degrees. Tonight we'll have partly cloudy skies with a low of 27 degrees, an average temperature around this time of year of 39 degrees. Winds were coming from the north at 2 miles per hour with gusts up to 4 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 32%. Sunset was at 4.44 p.m., and the record low in 1971 was 12 degrees. Tomorrow we'll have partly cloudy skies with a high of 62 degrees and a low of 29 degrees. Winds will be coming from the south-southeast at 2 miles per hour with gusts up to 4 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 20 percent. Sunrise will be at 6.56 a.m., and the UV index will be 2, which is low. For our seven-day forecast, we have a mostly cloudy week. Your high temperatures will stay in the 60s, and your low temperatures will be ranging from the high 20s to the mid-30s. Car Studio and Prump Valley Mobile Detailing are saying Happy New Year by offering some specials to our community. If you purchase a wash of $20 or more, you get an express wax for free. If you purchase a full detail interior and exterior, you get your engine clean for free. The offer expires January 31st, so give them a call at 513-0960. A KPVM viewer is offering a $500 reward for her missing dog. The dog's name is Chauncey. He is a mini Shih Tzu. He has a bright blue collar and has been missing since December 23rd from a home on Black Street. If you have any information on the location of Chauncey, please call 661-754-3559. That is 661-754-3559. Or you can call us here at the station at 727-9400, extension 201. Well, that does it for this edition of News 46. I'm Rhonda Van Winkle. And I'm Jason Koblenz. And from all of us here up on the Hill, we wish you a great evening. We'll see you here again tomorrow night. Until then, good night, Perum. Good night.